Hey everyone, Kibi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to root the Samsung Epic 4G Touch, the latest method to root it. This has been updated from uh, the previous version, so I will link to this video from the previous one. But anyways, uh, this is for, I believe you can be an EG30, EG31, EK02, or EL13 to root. So whatever it is, but to check, go to menu settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and then scroll down again and under build number, it should say what you're at. Right now the latest is EK02, the latest over the air update from Sprint is EK02. So I'm on stock gingerbread EK02. And now, once you are ready to go, go to menu, settings, go to applications, go to development, and check USB debugging up at the top. So make sure USB debugging is checked, hit yes, and that's it. So make sure USB debugging is checked up at the top and you are ready to go. Click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this site. I do want to make a shout out and thanks to SF Hub. He's very helpful. He's a great guy. Definitely be sure to thank him uh, for doing this for us. But anyways, what you're going to need to do is scroll down. Go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down. And you're going to need to make sure you have the drivers installed on your PC. So right there, click and download the drivers from right here. Make sure you install them. And once you have the drivers installed, go ahead and click on this zip file right here. So click on this zip file, it'll download it right away. You will need a zip, uh, unzipping application such as 7-zip, WinRAR, WinZip, etc. But it'll download, it'll look like that, e4gtauto.zip. So now go to that e4gtauto zip, open it, you'll see a folder right there inside the zip file, just click and drag that uh, that folder to your desktop. So I'm gonna just click and drag it over to my desktop. It will take a little while to transfer over, so. All right, now that it's done extracting to my desktop, you'll see it right there on my desktop. I'm going to double click on it, and you'll see a bunch of files in here, just a bunch of them. Um, all you're gonna have to do is Scroll down and at the bottom you'll see runfirst.bat. Double click on that, hit run. It'll open a command prompt and here it is right here. You, you have your root install package. You got a bunch of options. You can install root, you can uninstall root if you only decide to just root it or you can install clockwork mod. So this is a very really useful tool. So what you need to do is go ahead and go back to your Samsung Epic 4G Touch and plug your phone into your PC. So plug it on in should say USB uh, debugging up at the top, or it won't say it, but just make sure USB debugging is checked and you're ready to go. So plug that in. And now what we're gonna do is install root. So we're gonna need to type A just to install root. So type the letter A, hit enter. And now uh, we're getting ready to install root. This All this is gonna do is give you root access and have super user. So you'll be able to get your free wireless Wi-Fi tethering, etc. just so uh, you know what it's doing. If you do plan to flash ROMs, kernels, themes, you're gonna wanna install Clockwork Mod. Uh, so I will link to, uh, to another video in the description to install Clockwork Mod using this tool. Anyways, so as you, as you can see, make sure USB debugging is enabled, USB storage mode is disabled, so don't mount your phone, and you have your drivers installed. So once you're done there, press any key to continue. I just hit enter. It should say waiting for device to be connected, and it found it, and it should just push the root files to your phone, and it should say it should root your device. I'm not too sure how long this is gonna take. This is actually my first time running this exploit. So we will see how long it does take. All right, so as you can see, it says getting ready to reboot. Press any key. So my guess is when you press a key, it should reboot your phone. So it's rebooting your phone. It says activity complete. As you can see, my Samsung Epic 4G Touch is now rebooting. And I'm gonna press any key to continue, and that's it. So you should be done. My Epic 4G Touch is now rebooting, as you can see, and once it boots up, I will show you I now have root access. All right, my phone has went ahead and booted back up. I'm gonna go to my app drawer, and inside my app drawer, I should have super user, which I do right there. So super user's right there. You will have root access, whether you wanna use the free wireless tethering app, or whatnot, or all that good stuff that you can do now that you have root access. So that's it. That's how you just have a stock rooted phone. 
stock rooted Samsung Epic 4G Touch. And now if you are planning to install ROMs, kernels, themes, etc., with Clockwork Mod, go ahead and follow the next video. I'll link to that in the description of the video on how to install Clockwork Mod on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. But that's it. Uh, if you do run into any problems, have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I will be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.